You're watching the News Channel 15 Highlight Zone with Glenn Marini and Ross Kinsey. Well, if you didn't know a calendar, you wouldn't know we're in the heart of the basketball season based on the weather. While it's tank tops, flip flops, and jorts <laughs> weather out there, hoops are starting to heat up as well. No jorts tonight for no. us. February frenzy starts next week when girls sectionals tip off. They, the boys, they don't talk tournament until March, and that means conference championships still very much on the line tonight. And it's always good when you control your own destiny. And for the second week in a row, that's the case for Bishop Lures. The Knights could have clinched the SAC title with a win last Friday. However, Northside had some other ideas. This week, Lures again could bring home the SAC title with a win, and this time it was Snyder standing in the way. The Knights versus the Panthers. It's your highlight zone game of the week. Get a win by Lures, and they earn their second straight SAC regular season championship. Take it up in the first quarter. Snyder working the basketball. Jermaine Robinson to Josh Spitnail for two of his 14. Panthers up 24 15 after one. Second quarter. Lures hanging around. James Blackman with the nice one. Knights, though, down by six. Snyder. Held an eight-point halftime lead. Nigel Billingsley, the jumper. Snyder up eight at the half. Blackman doing what he does here in the third. A long two and then an easy bucket down low. And how about some more from James Blackman Jr., the old Hardaway-esque crossover. Nine of his 29 came in that third frame, and that was huge because Lures up 61-50 after three. In the fourth, Snyder trying to hold on thanks to a couple threes by Stephen Halstead. He led the Panthers with 16, but Lures, yeah. They do win that SAC championship. Jalen Smith had 14 as Lowers wins 87-81. As a team, we just wanted to win this game, and we came out slow, but this was one of our main goals. We lost to a team we could have beat, so we just had to come get it tonight. And in the second half, we played like we should, in like we do in practice. This is for the conference championship. Um, we wanted to get those guys focused on our defense. Uh, we were, really wasn't real worried about offense. We wanted to concentrate on making stops defensively. And I thought in the second half, we came out and defense was the key to us. How about Northrop? They could have kept their SAC hopes alive with a Lures loss, but the Knights won. Either way, the Bruins at Concordia tonight, and Brian Grimaud ahead to Mark Rogers, who scores. But how about the Bruins? Bryson Scott, this kid knows how to put the basketball in the basket. He had 27 tonight. Concordia's Mark Rogers keeping the cadets close. He hits three of his 17 right there. How about Northrop? Dominic Hogue to RJ Edwards. Yeah, you've got to throw it down, my big man. And how about this one goes to overtime? Northrop gets the win, 63-54. Bruce Pearl looked there for Coach Kuhlman. Hey, let's go to Northside now. Redskins spoiled the Lure celebration last Friday. Skins are trying to spoil the night of Bishop Dwanger. First quarter, that's Trevion Cruz with a three. He had 12. And Jeremy Jones in the same spot buries the triple. How about Quilin Howard Upshaw? A nice season for the senior. He had 14. Got the pull up there as the skin's up by eight early. Mm -hmm. First quarter, though, Justin Schaefer with the jumper. But in the second quarter, Northside starts to pull away. Jalen McGee on the inbound, and Northside a winner against the Saints, 58-44. Let's go to Don Riker Gymnasium. Southside hosting a Wayne team that's played some good teams. Pretty tough this year in the first quarter. Out running, Devin Jones lays it in softly. He had... 11. Wayne comes back with Justin Mitchell. This kid also knows how to score. He splashes home three of his 29. Deion Williams inside to Demarcus Norfleet. The little guy scores between the trees, but too much from Ronald Lucas and the Generals. Lucas and one. He had 18. Wayne wins 81 65. Switching over to the girls. Last week it was Southside clinching its first ever SAC regular season championship. In the process, Juanita Goodwill's team putting together an 18-game winning streak. A win against Wayne tonight, and the Archers would finish the SAC a perfect 7-0. And, oh, and the Archers are running in this with DeJoya Johnson, the teardrop. She had 10 on the night. Johnson then ahead to Jomani Thomas. She had 14. The Archers in control in this one. End of the first half, though, Rosie Lewis, she calls glass. She had 14, but south of 25 at the break. Third quarter, Ariana Simmons, two of her 16. The 19th straight win for the Archers, 74-47. We work very hard at practice every day, and our coach is a big key to us. She believes in us so much, and we got so much support here at Southside. And um, we just 
we know we want to make history. We've been uh, in position to do what we're doing right now. We've been in position several times in my nine years here, and um, I'm just really thankful and blessed to have the squad that's uh, committed to what we wanted to do. Southside drew a bye in sectionals. They'll get the winner of Homestead Jay County next Friday. Wayne will play Tuesday against Huntington North. Yeah, let's go back out to Snyder. Panthers ranked ninth in 4A. Lures second in 2A. So a big showdown here. Third quarter. Lures up eight. Brooke Ridley puts the Knights now up 10 33 23. But Coach Gold's team would get it going here. Deja Wimby with the bucket cuts the lead to just eight. Snyder again. Akela Sims, Takari Barnes. Panthers down seven after three, and guess what? It's hard to beat Snyder on their home court. The ninth-ranked Panthers come back to win this one 54-48. Let's go back out to Concordia. The Cadets ranked eighth in 3A, hosting Northrop. Courtney Smith to Annalisa Kmeyer. She drops it in. But Northrop, you know, they're giving the Cadets all they can handle in this one today. Tashara Thomas, nice little spin move, drops in the bucket there. Fourth quarter, point five on the clock, and we go to overtime. In OT, Courtney Smith takes over two of her 25 points as she cleans up her own miss. Concordia wins 67-59. Final stop in the SAC. Northside hosting Dwenger. Redskins just snap a 30-game losing streak. Could they beat Bishop Dwenger? Well, Allie Christman saying not going to happen. She had 25, buried the three right there. We're in the second quarter with some defense from Northside coming Get through. Get out of here. Jacole Jones, they call her Coco, and Coco came in from the backside and gave it a swat. No, nice no, defense. No, no. <laughs> nice defense by the senior, but Elaney Shea, she had a good game. 16 points, two on the putback there. Dwenger goes on to win this one by 30, 63 33. So we've hit up the SAC here in the city, but some of the biggest games tonight took place in Wabash County. We're going to Help sort out the TRC title chase with three huge games. Plus, only 40 boys in Indiana history have scored over 2,000 career points. We'll see if Lo Whit Coast Logan Irwin can join that exclusive club. It's all coming up next after the break. We are on Southside. You're watching the Highlight Zone.